that you're really that worried about me? Of course I'm worried. Why? Because we're buddies. Because we're buddies. Huh. What? It's a good thing, ain't it? I just... I've never really had someone that I could call a buddy. I always just kind of thought movies and manga made that stuff up. Or at the very least, it was something I'd never have. Well, you were wrong, because now you've got us on your side. Awesome. Remember, you need good party members to beat Dragon Quest. Uh, isn't that a video game? Well, yeah, but... Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> You're a weird one. I can live with weird. It's true, anyway. Well... <laughs> Thank you, Kasuga, for making me one of your buddies. <laughs> What's up? Someone dying here? Huh? Oh, we were just... Well, seeing as we've got a long, hard road ahead of us, let's knock back some drinks. Sure, on whose tab? Well, there's the pay bonuses the boss left us. Come on, man. We gotta save those for a rainy day. Oh, I'd be so cheap. The boss is in the afterlife right now, yelling at us to live while we can. You're full of shit. I say we don't do it. Dodgy son turns a bit feral when it comes to alcohol. It's Bleach Japan. What the hell? The place is already shut down. What do they want now? My friends, look at this filthy evil den of iniquity! Yes, it's an ugly little soap land. Just the other day, our tireless efforts led to the shuttering of this foul place. Yeah! 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 This is our victory. The first bricks of the gray zone suffocating this city have cracked and fallen away. But we must not be complacent. We must press on until all the Grey Zones have been purified! Yeah! yeah! Hey, we're in mourning right now. It's really not a good time. I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was still vermin lurking around here. Don't you have any respect for people in grief? Don't you have any respect for the law? 
The shop is closed. This building should be vacant. That's yeah! that right! You heard him. Get out of town, you riffraff. Keep your protests to shouting. You lay hands on us, there'll be hell to pay. Hey, did you all see that? This thug's showing us his true colors! He thinks he can use violence to crush the voices of the people! He's obviously living in the past! Hurry! Let's close up before they start in on us, too! Where's the Seriu clan when you need them? What are we paying them protection money for? Get the friggin' heck out of here! People like you are ruining society! You're all criminals! You're enemies of good people! <sighs> now, get out of our town and don't ever come back! I'm just grateful the owner of this shop finally realized what he truly was. A filth-spreading vector of disease. He did the noble thing by taking his own life. What did you just say? What was his name? No, no, Mia. Just looking at him made me want to vomit. I really can't bring myself to be sorry that he's gone. When I think about that man dangling at the end of a rope... <clears throat> I feel the same way I do when I finish my spring cleaning. you are get the fuck out of here don't that won't work such on why not <laughs> too late now you little tart you assaulted me you all saw it someone called the police Slapping a guy like him never does much. What? This kind of fucker. You gotta hit him like this! <laughs> Our leader's down! Let's get in there! Seriously? You brought bats? What, were you hoping for a quick ball game during the protest? They were ready to incite violence all along. We're good to go, right boss? Of course. You saw it! They attacked us first! Come on, everyone! This is our moment! Bleach the Grey! Let's do it! Cool!
Gotcha. Couldn't let him talk shit about the recently departed like that. But I'm the one who got us into a scuffle. Uh, sorry, I should have stayed calm. Nah, don't worry about it. Now we know what they're really about. Besides... What? If somebody messes with one of us, they mess with all of us.
Man, that felt good! After all this time, we got to actually do something! Yeah! I wish those useless bums in the Seryu clan could have seen that! Oh, come on, they ain't that bad. Yes, they are. We can't rely on them. I've realized something. No one's gonna protect us but us. The Yakuza aren't gonna help. I agree! These dudes are way more reliable than that dumb Seiryu clan! Yeah! Remember We're this better dinner off right. you yeah. counting up with you, on you. Not them! You should teach them I another lesson! I feel way lesson. safer with you around! Is it closed today? No, no, Mia san! It's me, Erika Mataki! Uh, can I help you? Are you here for an interview or something? What? Oh, no. I'm not here for an interview. And you are? Oh, I'm Kasuga. I guess you could say I used to work here. Really? You worked here? Oh, well, anyway. Is Nonomiya-san in right now? I'm supposed to meet with him today. Uh, you see, well, that's a little complicated. You know... Know what? Well, Nonomiya-san, he... He died. What? Uh... He's... I don't... He can't be... Uh, that's not... Uh... Hey, hey! Oh shit! I think we're losing her! Hey! You alright? Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing. I've been trying to get a hold of Nonomiya-san by phone for the longest time, but... I never would have guessed he'd passed away. Yeah, sorry to have freaked you out. By the way, what's your name?
I'm Eri. I'm president of Ichiban Confections. Well, damn, Eri-chan. You're a president at your age? That's incredible. Ichiban Confections? Nice! My name's Ichiban too, actually. Ichiban Kasuga. Great minds think alike. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but it also means the best, which is why my grandfather chose it. He wanted his senbei to be the best in Yokohama. Ah, <laughs> senbei. Man, I love a good rice cracker. Anyway, how do you know Nonomiya-san? Well, Nonomiya-san was supposed to step in and take over the company. I came by today to discuss things with him. What? Nonomiya-san? President of a legitimate business? I mean, he was a savvy businessman, regardless of what he was selling. No, oh, right. So, Ichiban Confections only sells snacks, right? Nothing, uh, else? Correct. My grandfather started it back in the day, selling his prized senbei. But after he passed away, my father took over and expanded the business to other confectionaries and restaurants. We actually got to be kind of big, and we even gained a bit of a reputation in Ijincho. Until... Until? Until three years ago, when my father succumbed to an illness. My mother passed away when I was a little girl, so we didn't really have anyone we could turn to to keep the business afloat. I was still a student back then, but I quit school to come back home. I wasn't about to let the dream my father and grandfather worked so hard to make a reality go to waste. I worked day in, day out to learn the business, but I guess it still wasn't enough. I'm a complete amateur, so managing everything was really difficult. And to make things worse, I got tricked into what I thought would be a good deal for us. Now most of our stores and businesses belong to a bunch of crooks. That's messed up. The only thing left is the senbei shop. My father and grandfather would be so ashamed of me. And with the loan I was still paying, staying in charge of the business would have only made things worse. Although I hated the thought, I'd considered closing Ichiban Confections for good. But that's when Nonomiya-san showed up and offered a helping hand. Hmm. He used to be a regular of the senbei shop. And not only that, but he treated me like a daughter ever since I was a baby. When he heard about how the business was in trouble, he immediately stepped in to help. He paid off my loan in full, and even offered to help run the business, so that my grandpa Senbei could live on. Oh, crazy. There's Nonomiya being a cool guy on the down low again. He deserved more respect than he got. Yeah, I thought maybe this was gonna be another one of those... exploiter and... you know... Force her to work in his soapland situations. <sighs> I never saw him interact with his other businesses, but he was always very kind to me. Well, I can see the guy being a regular, but stepping in to become president? Maybe he just wanted some extra cash. It's possible. But Nonomiya had dreams of his own, you know. He did? Yeah. 
He actually did want to go legitimate. That was his dream for a long time. I had to listen to him talk about it every time he had a few too many. He said he wanted to start up his own business. Create a sort of safety net for Ijincho. Uh, what? One way or another, Ijincho has become a place for people who have nowhere else to go. So if the floor falls out from beneath a city like this, what would they have left? So, he always talked about how he wanted to create a safety net. One big enough to catch these people from falling away. Apparently, he had the same intentions for Orohime Land as well. Well, maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Yes, well, he also pushed his employees too hard, and he had his fingers in a lot of shady stuff, so... I could never tell if he was being honest or not. Looking back, though, his place was the only one that took us in when we had nowhere else to go. Nonomiya-san was telling the truth, if you ask me. I think so, too. I always believed in him. After all, he volunteered to take on his struggling senbei shop. I mean, there's plenty of other ways to make money in this town. Hmm. Anyway, I should get going. I'm so sorry to trouble all of you. Wait, what about your business? I think Nonomiya-san dying is maybe the final nail. What? There's only so much someone like me can do in this position. If I can't find someone more competent to run things, I'll have no choice but to close up shop. Besides, this business will fizzle out sooner or later if I'm left in charge. I should take the hint. I had no place here anyway. Hey now, is that what you really want? This place is important to you, isn't it? You'd really call it quits after everything your dad and Gramps did for it? Well, that's not what I want at all. I loved my dad and my grandpa. And I know they poured their hearts into the shop. So it's heartbreaking to close the doors. It really is. Nonomiya-san's gone, and most of my employees left. They knew we were in the red. I don't have anyone else I can count on. No strategy. I'm completely alone. I suppose I'm just reaping what I've sown. It was my own fault for trusting those con artists. <sighs> what was I thinking? I'm so mad at myself. <sighs> Mary Chan. All right. I got you. <laughs>